This question is about centroid and the distributed loads. In this question, we have a beam loaded with a distributed parabola from point A to point B, and then with a uniform distributed load from B to C with the intensity of 300 Newton per meter. The vertex of the parabola is given at point A, and we are to determine the reactions at pin support A and at roller C. We need to draw a free body diagram of the beam as follows. Here is the free body diagram of the beam with the x, y axis shown. As we know, the areas under the curve represent the amount of load, which we can break it into two parts, from A to B and from B to C. We can replace the distributed load from B to C with a single load P1 applied at the centroid of the rectangular shape, which is at a distance of two and a half meter from point C. Obviously, from point A to B, the distance is 10 meter given, and from B to the location of load P1 also become equal to two and a half meter. To calculate the value of P1, we need to calculate the area under the curve from B to C, P1 become equal to 300 Newton per meter multiplied by 5 meter or equal to 1500 Newton. The area under parabola will represent a single load P2 and the location of it is at the centroid of the parabola which will be at a distance of x bar from the y axis. To determine the value of P2, we need to write the equation of parabola from A to B. In general, for a second order parabola, the equation Y is equal to AX squared plus BX plus C. We need three pieces of data to determine values of A and B and C. As we can see, at point A or X equal to zero, the height of parabola equal to zero. Substituting these two numbers in the equation of parabola, we get zero equal to zero plus zero plus C, or the value of C must be equal to zero. Next, we notice that the vertex of the parabola is also at A. That means the slope of the parabola is equal to zero, or y prime the slope which is equal to 2ax plus b at point a must be equal to zero or we have at x equal to zero y prime equal to zero which gives us zero equal to zero plus b therefore value of the b is also equal to zero to calculate value of A, we have one more data at point B, which is at x equal to 10 meter. The height of parabola is equal to 300 Newton per meter. Substituting this number in parabola, which is now y equal to a x squared, we get 300 Newton per meter to be equal to a times 10 meter to the power of 2 or a equal to 3. The unit of a is Newton per meter to the power of 3 and the equation of parabola becomes y equal to 3x squared. Next, we need to calculate the area under this parabola. We draw our x, y axis and the parabola from A to B. And then we choose a vertical element at distance x and the height is y. The area of our element become equal to y dx. To calculate the area, we have to integrate the equation from A to B, which is equal to magnitude of force P2, become integral of 0 to 10 y dx, or equal to integral of 0 to 10, 3x squared dx, or p2 equal to area equal to x3 to be evaluated between 0 to 10 equal to 1000 newton. Next, we need to find out x bar. If the centroid of parabola is here, 
the distance from y-axis is x bar and according to the formula x bar equal to integral of 0 to 10 x of element dA divided by area x of element by definition is the distance from y-axis to the centroid of the element we have chosen equal to x plus dx over 2 however dx goes to 0 so must be equal to the x notice y of element in case we need it is not equal to y it is y over 2 therefore our equation become x bar equal to integral of 0 to 10 x time dA dA is already y dx was equal to 3x square dx divided by 1000 which is the area or equal to integral of 0 to 10 3x to the power of 3 dx divided by 1000 or equal to 3 over 1000 x4 over 4 to be evaluated between 0 to 10 meter the result becomes seven and a half meter we show now beam a b c x and y axis shown and then we have one load of 1000 newton at a distance of seven and a half meter and p1 was 1500 newton at a distance of two and a half meter from C. The total length of the beam is 15 meter. The reactions are at A, we have an AX and AY. At C, CY. Writing equation of equilibrium, sigma FX equal to zero. There is no other force except AX. Therefore, AX become equal to zero. Sigma Fy or summation of the forces in y direction equal to zero will give us Ay plus Cy equal to the sum of the load or equal to 2500 Newton. Last, we need to write the equation of moment about point A. So summation of the moment at or about point A equal to zero will give us 1000 Newton times seven and a half meter the action is clockwise therefore resulting moment is negative also 1500 newton have moment about point a which is 1500 newton multiplied by distance of a 12 and a half meter the action is clockwise therefore is negative finally cy multiplied by 15 meter which gives us a counterclockwise moment about point a so therefore is plus so become equal to zero solving this equation for cy we get cy equal to 1750 nit and since the sum of two forces were equal to 2500 ay become equal to 2500 newton minus 1750 newton equal to 750 newton the questions being answered